Shadow, what's going on, buddy? Hey, uh, can I ask you a really random question? Yeah, what is it? Have you ever, ever thought about, how do I say this? Uh, a possible change of pace or an upgrade, perhaps? What do you mean, upgrade? You know, an upgrade, like change in pace, uh, change in style, or get rid of the nasty jacket that you have on. What's wrong with my jacket? Look, I'm gonna flat out say this, I can't hide it anymore. That jacket has been there since 2012, dude. I, I get it, it's the OG, original Shadow Hedgehog jacket that I first made, but Look at it, the fur's falling off, and every time you wash it, the fur starts going crazy. The hoodie's too small, it's really, really old. I don't even think their brand exists anymore. But, I mean, the fur, though, it looks like you haven't shaved in like years, dude. So, yeah, like, I think it's time, you know, we did some kind of upgrade for you, buddy. Hmm. Yeah, maybe you're right. I'm still keeping the hoodie, though. But, you have my interest. What do you got in mind? Great, awesome, let's get started. By let's us get started, meaning me, because I'm the one building the costume. But yeah, uh, let's get cracking on it.
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a long time in the making um, because I wanted to make sure if I was gonna ever, ever redo this outfit, um, I wanted to do it properly. I wanted to do it one with a bigger size shoe uh, because the old shoes I had were from 2012 and they were like nines, whereas I wear 11s and 11 halves now. So that was the hardest part was trying to hurdle over the redesign of the shoes. But I fixed all that. Uh, I tore apart one of my old shoes, unfortunately. So you're kind of out of one original shoe, buddy. But I can't one. So at least one of them is going to be a memory now. But with the new shoe design, I've actually fixed a lot of the problems, which was when you're bending your heel. And I've noticed this with your old ones. When you're bending your heel, um, the white part of it starts tearing because there's no there's no space or at least not enough space to bend your heel and allow the tongue of the shoe to kind of move on its own. The other hard part was trying to redesign the jacket. And I don't know if I wanted to do clothing or if I wanted to do another hoodie, but like a bigger size. He is a bit of a bike rider, as you see from the original trailer of the original game. But I wanted to kind of hurdle into a little bit of realism with the redesign because one he's a biker so you had to get a leather jacket and I had an old leather jacket laying around it was perfect it was already starting to fall apart you know here and a little bit on the collar but overall I think it turned out really good uh, what do you think so far buddy is it comfortable a little more fluid honestly I think you might have outdid yourself on this one this seems a little more comfortable so if I'm out and about and I'm riding my bike as he says this would be something I would normally wear a little more comfortable, a little more laid back, especially for something I can wear when I'm riding the bike around. It's actually really, really impressive. But here's the kicker for this, by the way. I didn't just revamp the costume because I felt like it, yes and no, but I revamped the costume because you will be seeing him at Spooky Empire October 21st. Be sure to mark your calendars if you are going or are thinking about going. Go ahead and book your tickets now and I will be bringing Shadow and possibly one other costume, maybe if I could fit it all in one luggage bag, with me to Spooky Empire. Not only that, it's also a perfect time to announce that the Back to Orlando series has been revamped for the Halloween season. So now you get some spooky stuff that's gonna be happening over in Orlando this year, rather than in the beginning of the summer or in the middle of the summer, where we just go to a Disney park or we explore around some weird, like, or weird amusement parks, something like that. But this time we're gonna be doing a Halloween themed uh, Orlando adventure, which I think you guys will really, really enjoy. I haven't done anything like Halloween themed in a long time, so this would be a perfect way to celebrate the holiday of Halloween. But we'll be leaving the 22nd and coming back the 25th, so you have four full length videos, probably 20 to 30 minutes long, of whatever the hell we're going to be doing, which I will not say in this video, but you will have to find out later on in this month what we're going to be doing in Orlando. Other than that, I hope you guys like Shadow's brand new look. He'll be swapping back and forth between the leather jacket and the hoodie. So if you see him wearing two different outfits, that's why. <laughs> He's going to be swapping back and forth between them throughout any other videos that we have him in. But if you guys like the brand new design, be sure to leave a fat like on this video. You guys enjoy the rest of your week. Be sure to tune in next week because I got some more stuff coming in for you guys. I got one sketch video coming in and then I got the bloopers for that as well. But I also got another costume update that's going to be happening uh, either that same week or next week. Was it like the week of the 22nd before we go in Orlando? So you guys are going to be getting four brand new videos before you'll be seeing the Back to Orlando Halloween series stuff, which is going to be really really exciting super fun you guys enjoy the rest of your week stay tuned for the rest of the videos coming up this month it's going to be an awesome halloween celebration and we will see you goons later weirdo uh, okay bye you guys a douche sometimes you know